What is up everybody? On this how-to video, I am going to show you how to reseat and adjust your garage door so that it goes up and down nice and smooth. You don't get those bumps as the wheels go around the edges and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to readjust and reseat your garage door. Stick around, let me get you set up, and I'll be right back. All right guys, so on your garage door, what happens is when they put in your garage door, they lay these panels on top of one another inside the track. Now when your door is brand new, they sit in there, they're nice and straight, they're even, um, all the seals are good, everything is good on them, but over the years, what ends up happening is through the summers and the winters, the heat and the cold expand and contract your doors. The metal doors, not so much as the wooden doors, but the wooden doors, if you happen to have a wooden door anymore, <coughs> happens to expand and contract. And what happens is where these doors sit on top of one another, where they're connected with the hinges, they create little gaps. They're not sitting right together. And over the years, as your door goes up and down, you'll notice that as it goes around that bend, it might bump, it might strain a little bit. So what, what I'm gonna show you today is how to readjust all these panels. It's real easy, real simple. It will put less stress on the motor and make it last longer. So here we go. Here are all your hinges. Every door, depending on the size of your door, has all the hinges. Now, all the hinges, let me get you in here so you can see real good here. All the hinges <coughs> have four screws, okay? Three of them are adjustable. One, two, three, adjustable. One is permanent with a small hole. What you're gonna wanna do on all of these hinges, you're gonna want to, let me back you up a little bit. On all of these hinges, you're gonna want to loosen the three adjustable screws. You can leave the bottom one or top, depending on how they're put in, normally they're at the bottom, but the single hole screw, you wanna leave tight, and you just wanna loosen the other three on every single hinge throughout the door. So I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse. I'm gonna go loosen the three hinge, the three screws on all the hinges and leave the one single hold one tight. I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna do it with a socket. I'm not gonna do it with a drill because these screws are kind of small and if you do it with a drill, you can pop them out. You don't need to pop them out. You just need to get them loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll be back with you when I'm done. All right, guys, before I do that, I forgot to tell you, before I do that, you got to make sure that the door is completely closed and you're going to want to detach it from the your garage door opener with this emergency release. So make sure the garage door is closed, release it from the garage door opener, and then you can go ahead and start undoing these screws. All right, guys, now that you got all of these screws loose in the slotted parts of the hinge, you left the one um, tight. Basically, now all you're going to want to do to reseat your door is you start at the top in the middle and you just wiggle it. Pull it out and in all the way across. And you do that between each section get a good wiggle in there on the door <clears throat> there you go now all the panels have readjusted themselves they should all be sitting on top of one another nice and solid again no gaps no spaces all of the hinges and everything should have readjusted. You'll probably notice when you go to tighten these up, they might be in a little bit different position. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, that is all you gotta do. Is just wiggle this, get it seated, and now 
we go through and tighten all of these back up. Be back with you in a second. All right, guys, there you go. All of the bolts are tight. Now, you might find in that process of loosening and tightening all the bolts that some of them might have been loose, which very well could be, because um, that does happen sometimes. I had one over there and I think one over here that were loose, <clears throat> and a couple of the other ones weren't all um, completely tight. So I went through all of them, got them all set, reconnected the door to the um, opener and now what we're gonna do we're gonna try it we're going to hit the button let it go up it will probably be most likely be a little bit quieter and you will also notice that it will flow a little bit smoother as it goes up so here we go see already that sounds sounds quieter it used to bang at that first hump used to bang at that second hump there's a little bang there but you know what that's a lot better than it was before so with that being said guys that will save wear and tear on your garage door opener motor it will make it last a lot longer um, it is also good for the door for the wheels it will go up and down a lot smoother on the track it will sound a lot better be a little bit quieter so there you go guys should do that about every eight to ten years because um, like I said with the heat and the coolness of the summer and winters those panels expand and contract and then they they're not seated right together on top of one another so that's how you readjust your garage door to help save your motor so if this video helped you guys or if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button underneath the little thumbs up button underneath leave me a comment down below if this helped you or not um, if it made a difference on your particular door if you do this or not or if you're going to try it or not just let me know i love reading all the comments subscribe to my channel down here underneath this video plane there's a subscribe button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and you will be notified of any future videos that i post i do a lot of different things on my channel so if you can subscribe and come back and check it out it'd be greatly appreciated so if this helped you guys i hope it did let me know down in the comments and that is this how-to video, how to adjust, readjust your garage door. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.